I am going to try to make this video as laid back and as casual as I possibly can. I know that no matter what I do, I am going to run into a bunch of people screaming at each other regardless of what they actually have to say. It's just going to come off as nonsense. I know I'm going to see a ton of toxicity. That That's just the way it goes, right? And that's just going to overshadow everything else. It's going to overshadow a ton of enjoyment, at least from a community perspective. So... I, I don't want to do that for this video. I at least want this video to be calm, cool, collected, but I'm still here to give my thoughts on things, some of them positive and some of them negative. This is mostly going to be a thoughts video rather than a prediction video, because I think talking about Death Battle doing Goku vs. Superman 3 is actually a little more interesting than predicting Goku vs. Superman 3. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of questions to ask, a lot of things to consider for why they decided to do this, and I kind of want to talk about that, you know? So, I'm going to start off by saying things that I don't like very much about this episode happening, things that I do more so, and then at the very end, and I will give my opinion on who I think would win this death battle or who I think will win this death battle. So yeah, let's go. So talking about the negatives for me, this is an episode that I have had in the back of my head for a very, very long time. And for a while, I was 100, 200, 1000% convinced that death battle would never make Goku versus Superman three. And a big reason for that was because of their specific reasoning for Goku versus Superman two, which was that, you know, it doesn't matter how much stronger Goku gets, he will never reach infinite power, and Superman has infinite power, you know, that stuff. And while I didn't agree with everything that they said in that video, and even more so now as I've, you know, gotten older and thought more critically, I did think that that was kind of Death Battle's way of saying we're done. Like, it, like, the way that we look at it, there's no point in doing a third one. And I think for a while, that is what they were thinking too, because it has been over eight years since they talked about this, this matchup, you know? So, I think for a while, that was probably what they were thinking. Like, yeah, we're not going to come back to this one. However, as time went on, more people started talking about the idea of it, especially with Ultra Instinct and some of the other techniques that Goku has, and some of the scaling, some of the specific feats. And I thought, okay, well, maybe if Death Battle specifically changes their approach, approach to this episode which by the way i am assuming that's kind of what they're gonna do like they're gonna toss out the whole infinite power thing and they're gonna look at it more as they would for a normal death battle episode so i thought that for back then i thought that if they were gonna do something like that maybe it would kind of be worth it maybe it'd be interesting for them to look at it like that However, when we started getting in later into Season 8 and early into Season 9, we start getting episodes like Goku Black vs. Reverse Flash, Thor vs. Vegeta, where obviously those are not Goku vs. Superman specifically, but we are still looking at matchups where we have, you know, really powerful Dragon Ball characters compared to high-end comic book characters, and even under that, you know, methodology, the Dragon Ball character is still lost. You know, you don't you don't have to bring in infinite power or whatever in, in order to still get to that kind of conclusion. So after those episodes came out, I was thinking, well, Goku versus Superman just kind of seems pointless again because we've already seen another methodology used for very similar characters. Doing a Goku versus Superman three using this kind of methodology at this point it just feels too much like a repeat of what they've already been doing. You know, so. I, I've kind of gone back and forth with this, you know, whether or not I think it's worth it. But nowadays, wh while I don't want to say, you know, that it's completely not worth it because, you know, Goku and Superman are their own characters. It's cool to see the analyses talk about them and talk about specific abilities and all that. From a general debate perspective, it once again feels like there's not really a point. It feels a little too predictable, you know? And generally speaking, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the toxicity that I'm going to see in the comments. I'm not looking forward to saying, oh, you know, what could have been that other episode of season 10 if Goku vs. Superman wasn't in there? Because I do generally like looking at new debates. I think there are some debates that benefit from a revisit, but it seems like in multiple ways, whether they go with the whole infinite power route again, or if they just do normal versus debating where they're looking at like the high-end feats that they have or the high-end feats that they can scale to, the volume scaling, etc, etc. We've already gotten that a few times, and there's no reason to believe that Goku versus Superman would be any different. Because after I stopped watching Rick versus the Doctor, I kind of thought to myself, okay, well, hang on, maybe this would be interesting to do if they just looked at it from more of a regular perspective. Again, throw out the infinite power stuff and just legitimately look at the characters and try to do it that way, you know? But th the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, that would have much more weight to it if we haven't gotten very similar debates 
very recently, you know? So, you know, that's kind of one of my positives, you know, that I think that looking at it from a character perspective, looking at them in that kind of lens for debating, I think would be beneficial to how these characters are represented. You know, I think that this is a chance for Death Battle to represent Goku and Superman better than they ever have before, and I think that's amazing. However, again, from a general debating perspective, like, it kind of has an asterisk next to it, right? Like, part of it seems like there's still not much of a point, generally speaking. And I've said it before that, you know, Death Battle is a celebration of characters, so it is good to look at it from a character perspective, but when you've done an episode two times already and then you're doing the same debate again, like, you're pulling in characters you've used before and you're pulling in debate methodologies almost identical to what you've used before, you know? So, it... <sighs> It's very hard for me to firmly say that doing this as opposed to a completely separate debate, like something that they've never touched on before, it's very hard for me to say that that is 100% worth it. I think there are aspects that could be cool with this. Another one of my positives is that this could be a really dope fight. Like, if they try to one-up themselves from Goku vs. Superman 2 majorly, like, yeah, that could be insane. I'm sure that I'm gonna get enjoyment out of it. I'm sure that it's gonna be total eye candy. I'm sure the editing's gonna be good. I'm sure the overall production, I'm sure they're gonna pour their heart, souls, and tears into it. Like, I'm sure they're gonna do all of that, you know? And I don't wanna discredit their efforts because they work so hard and they bring so much joy to my life like I don't want to I don't want to completely discredit it because again like they do what they want to do right it's their product and they work really really hard and I get so much enjoyment you know however that doesn't mean that I can't disagree with any of their with with any of their decisions and I know a big reason for this is to make money and I can't really say oh well you shouldn't try to do that. Like, I, I'm aware of that. But if there was another motivator for them, like saying, oh yeah, we want to analyze Goku and Superman more, like better than what they've done before, I understand that, but only to a degree. Again, based on what I've, I've already said before. They've, they've looked at this debate two times already, and we've gotten debates that are very similar just in terms of a debating perspective. You know, there, there could be some really awesome writing in this episode talking about Goku and Superman, but... Again, there there are some negatives that are kind of like overshadowing the positives in that way. I feel like if this episode came out like before Goku Black versus Reverse Flash or Thor versus Vegeta or stuff like that, I feel like I would be more excited for it because I think, you know, that thought, you know, oh, that they could use a different methodology, like a regular death battle methodology for this fight. I'd actually be quite excited to see something like that, but... Not, not really anymore. So if this is an episode that you've been waiting for for a very long time and are really, really happy to see, bro, I applaud you. I think that's amazing. I'm so happy for you and I hope that you absolutely love the episode. I really hope that you weren't just hoping for it because you wanted to see one character specifically kill the other and for no other reason because you never know what the outcomes for these kinds of things and, you know, if, if it doesn't work out your way, then you're just going to be pissed. But either way, I'm happy that you're excited if you are excited and I want more people to be excited than not excited because there's this really weird thing on the internet where if somebody doesn't like something like they don't like the outcome of something they don't like the confirmation of something etc they will hate on people for thinking the opposite but what kind of sadist am i like why do i want people to not be excited for it just because i'm not the most excited for it right like i, I don't understand that just be kind to each other you know but I'm just here to say that in my humble opinion, because it's all about me, right? In my opinion, I I think there are positives. I, I definitely do. And I think this could be a really good episode production-wise. I just see a lot of negatives getting in the way for me. Like, they just overshadow the positives. I, I think that, you know... the. I think, I think it's okay. You know, I'm not going to get mad at it. I'm not, I'm not going to rage about it. Doesn't mean I won't give my opinion, but I won't rage about it. You know, there's a difference. Um, but yeah, I, I do think there are positives. I think, in my mind at least, there are more negatives. But, you know, it's what we got, and I'm not going to talk as if I can change that. So... That's about it. But now we can get into the thing that most people actually clicked on this video for. Who do I think would win between Goku and Superman in this upcoming episode? I am not going to talk about this very long because I don't want to indulge in anything even remotely toxic. I'm just going to step in and get out and that's going to be what I have to say for this episode. I don't want to talk about it very much, but I will still give my brief thoughts. So unless Death Battle does something very, very different from how they've normally done things... 
I think Superman is going to win again, and some of you may have even picked up on that based on other death battles that I brought up, like Goku Black versus Reverse Flash and Thor versus Vegeta. I just see no reason to believe that this is going to be treated any differently. Now, don't get me wrong, Superman does not have infinite power. It's like Saitama with his limiter. It's like he doesn't have a cap for how much solar energy he can drain, but he will never have infinite power at any given time because he can't drain on all the power he could potentially have instantaneously you know that's just not how it works so and again i don't think death battle is going to go that route i think they're going to go a route more similar to how they've done goku black versus reverse flash or thor versus vegeta like looking at their best feats or the feats that they can best scale to etc etc like all of that and all the volume scaling that's how they're going to do this i'm pretty sure but again, that doesn't really help Goku's case in my mind. Like, I see no reason to believe that they're going to use this and use all the volume scaling, all the characters that these characters can scale to. I see no reason to believe that that is going to end up in Goku's favor, you know what I mean? The only way that I could see Death Battle giving the win to Goku based on something that they have done before, like their own precedence, is something similar to what they said in Hulk vs. Broly, which was that, you know, Hulk strength would increase and Broly's strength would increase and that's a big factor in all that. So I feel like the best way that they could have Goku win is if they start Superman at like a pretty low level and then say that Superman couldn't keep getting power quick enough before Goku just kills him and the fight's over, you know? But even then, that's not really how I interpret how they did Hulk versus Broly. Like, the, the whole 120 universes number that they attributed for Hulk, they still attributed that to the Green Scar, like the strongest Hulk that they were using, you know? And, and you can disagree with that number all you want if you want to, but the point is that's what they were doing. And then they were talking about escalation on top of that, like going even further than what we've seen from these characters, you know? So... The way I see it, they're not going to treat Superman as like, oh yeah, we're starting him off at this low level, like that's way lower than his best feats. No, they're still going to give him like his maximum potential in terms of what we've seen, you know, they're still going to do that. And from that perspective, it's just based on the characters that these guys can scale to and the feats and all of that. I see no reason to believe that they're going to change what they've said about these characters and their worlds so much that Goku is going to pull ahead here. Now, I'm not normally one to say that you can judge a debate completely just based on the worlds that the characters live in, mostly because I think it's kind of lazy and I feel like it's more interesting when you actually talk about their specific advantages over each other. You know, you got you to gotta consider everything because there might be something you're missing and it's just boring. However, this is a debate where I feel like that very, very, very much applies and it's really all you need. You don't need anything more than that. It's the best way to analyze this fight, just generally speaking. Especially, again, we're looking back at past death battles. Like, for instance, for the characters that Superman can compare to, you might not want to say that Superman is as fast as the Flash. But the fact that he can compare to the Flash in any way, shape, or form, which he can, the fact that he can compare in any way, shape, or form, you're done. You don't even need to talk about speed anymore. Superman is way faster than any speed, than the speed of any Goku's attacks, the speed of Goku himself, any speed that he could scale to. There, there's no chance. There's no chance that realistically, through multipliers or whatever, Goku could be argued as being that fast or faster. And especially, like, when it comes to power as well, like, we even saw in Goku Black versus Reverse Flash, that Reverse Flash destroying or holding back the destruction of a single universe, you know, when used volume scaling afterwards, was way more powerful than the for sure multipliers that you could give to Goku Black, you know? And even the unknown multipliers, like, there's no reason to believe they would get him that high. Superman and characters like him have affected the entire DC multiverse before. We've seen this talked about, you know, when it comes to the Flash, like, the race from Barry and Wally, but Superman has his own multiversal stuff. There are a ton of characters on Superman's life level that have affected the multiverse before in some way. Again, comparing that to any degree is just greater than anything you could say for Dragon Ball. Like, yeah, Goku has Ultra Instinct, and I believe there's this one argument about Ultra Instinct shaking an in infinite space in the Tournament of Power or whatever, but again, like, these, this multiverse is, like, so many infinite spaces on top of each other. There's no reason to believe that the cosmology in Dragon Ball is anywhere close to what's in DC, and there's no reason to believe that Goku's power speed or durability could compare to Superman's when Superman can at least, if not surpass, 
but at least compare to those ridiculous levels. Hell, we know for a fact that Death Battle sees high-end DC characters as being stronger than at least most of Xenoverse Dragon Ball, just based on other Death Battles they've done and comparing them to each other, so I see no reason to believe that even Xeno Goku, in their eyes, would be able to beat or match the high-end capabilities of someone like Superman, let alone regular Goku at this point, because we know he'd be even weaker than that. And yeah, Superman doesn't have infinite power, I don't think they're gonna analyze him as that anymore, but just because we're not doing that anymore doesn't mean that we should just say Goku wins even if Superman has higher showings at his best, which he just does, just based on the cosmology and the capabilities, their own feats, the characters that they can scale to, all of that, you know, Superman just has it better because we know how Death Battle looks at the characters and the cosmology legitimately just works like that most of the time. You know, Goku is still really impressive. I love Goku. I'm not trying to say that Goku is a bad character. He is a great character. I have come to appreciate Superman as well too. There was a time where I hated Superman and now I love him for completely different reasons that I love Goku. Well, there are some overlapping stuff, but I like them for different reasons mostly, you know? So... You know, I, I, I think both the characters are great, and Goku has a lot of cool abilities, he has a lot of hacks. Superman has resisted nearly every hacks known to man, like... The only way that I can really see this episode being worth it, like, that that I would, I would feel fulfilled that Death Battle did this episode, is if they really focused on new aspects of the characters that they haven't talked about before, while still being true to the characters, and really nailing home how to analyze them. But again, that comes with a little asterisk next to it because I feel like that last part we've already gotten through other debates. We know that Death Battle knows how to analyze these characters at least decently well. So overall, again, for me, the negatives, the negatives are just, they're overshadowing the positives. And I really hope that's not the same for you, but that's how I feel. So that's really all I got to say to you guys. I hope you guys are excited. I'm not the most excited, but I'm sure I'm still going to enjoy the video for what it is. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment your comments down below, subscribe if you could too, that would be amazing. Um, but no matter what you guys do, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We'll see what happens, and we'll see how much I enjoy it. So that's it for me. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.